In our health alert tonight, fast food restaurants are testing out plant based meals. But are they really a healthy choice and what are they made of? Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi, is here to give us the lowdown on these food products. Doctor? Fallon, the latest plant-based food making headlines is KFC's Beyond Fried Chicken made by a company called Beyond Meat. Now, quite a few ingredients are used to create this chicken substitute like soy and pea protein, carrot fiber, rice flour, yeast extra extract, onion and garlic powder along with salt. So jump, they're all jumping on this uh, plant-based trend, including Subway. They'll be testing out their Beyond Meatball marinara sub at select locations this September. Now they've also teamed up with Beyond Meat and their ground beef, including healthy sounding ingredients like pea, rice and mung bean protein, coconut oil, cocoa butter, potato starch, vinegar, beet juice extract and salt. Now it's not really surprising that fast food places are trying out plant based foods. People all over are looking for ways to cut back on meat. I'm one of them. For years I've really enjoyed eating vegetarian meals twice a week on Thursday and Saturday. So are these alternatives actually considered healthy though? So let me put it this way, Heather. Uh, potato is considered healthy, right? Until you slice it up, deep fry it in oil, then dump a bunch of salt on it so it's no longer healthy. And fried foods come with health risks. So in fact, studies have linked to them type 2 diabetes and heart disease. This is likely because fried foods are often cooked in hydrogenated oils that are high in trans fat. And trans fats can raise LDL, the bad cholesterol levels. Now when it comes to plant-based meatballs and hamburgers, the amount of sodium and saturated fat in them are often the same as you'd find in regular beef products. So, you know, yes, uh, you're really not eating meat, which can help your health and the environment, but many of these alternatives are considered processed foods, often loaded with sodium, so I really wouldn't say they're absolutely healthy either. You know, it still all looks really tasty, but if someone wants more plant-based foods in their diet, what do you recommend? So Alan, I would say focus more on real whole foods and less on processed foods. A plant-based diet is, is healthy, but you can also be what's called flexitarian, where you eat less meat, just uh, you don't eat it all the time. And the way, that way you're not depriving yourself. And I'm not saying you should completely avoid these new fast food plant-based diets. Just go ahead and try them, but don't eat them all the time, just in moderation. Use them as a treat. I have, I, I tried it out as research today, and I'll tell you, they're really good. I just wouldn't eat it every single day. You did your homework. I yeah. did my homework, <laughs> and it was really good. I couldn't tell the difference. All right, thanks, Doc. And if you have a question or a health concern for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at AskDrNandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.